So students, today we will talk about fixation disparity. So all of us know that when an ob image of an object falls on our corresponding retinal points, the e we perceive binocular single vision. Is that so? Is that true? So what is fixation disparity? Under laboratory conditions, it can be demonstrated that during binocular fixation, the point of fixation is rarely ever imaged exactly on the corresponding points of the two fovea, but that the primary line of sight of one eye misses the fixation point very slightly, being either under-converged or over-converged. This phenomena is called fixation disparity. That means, now let's explain by this diagram, okay. Here in this diagram we see, here a fixation point is present at the horopter, okay. So the fixation line from the fixation point is rating the left eye retina, right. So that is the primary line of sight for the left eye. So that is reaching uh, my fovea of the left eye. But for the right eye, what is happening? The right eye, the primary line of sight of the right eye is slightly missing the fixation point. So where the light is falling? Actually, it is falling somewhere else other than the horopter in the phantom's fusional space. So that is this phenomena is called fixation disparity. Here what happens due to the here in this figure you can see the right eye is over converging and that's why it is the primary line of sight is missing the fixation point. So this phenomena is called fixation disparity means we can see the object single that means binocular single vision is present but what is the problem is that the two lines the two visual axes or the two lines of sight from the right eye and left eye is not meeting at the fixation point uh, that means the corresponding retinal elements for one eye is stimulated the other eye it is just missing one corresponding uh, retinal point for the other eye so the image is formed single but this is happening this is a phenomena of fixation disparity so, fixation disparity is a tendency of the eyes to drift in the direction of heterophoria. That means, if I am having right eye isophoria, then what will happen? The, my right eye will over converge a little more. So that the, the line of sight, the primary line of sight from the right eye will just miss the fixation point. So, a uh, Patient may or may not have fixation disparity and the patient may have a different fixation disparity at distance than near. Observers with a fixation disparity are more likely to report eye strain in demanding visual tasks. Therefore, tests for fixation disparity belong to the diagnostic tools. So, we need to do the, we need to do a fixation disparity test if we give and get any kind of asthenopic symptoms. While strabismus prevents binocular vision, fixation disparity keeps binocular vision. However, it may reduce a patient's level of stereopsis. So, if there is a fixation disparity, definitely it can affect the stereopsis. Okay. So, if we have a squint, the binocular vision is prevented. So, we may have double vision or diplopia. Okay. But if we are having fixation disparity, so when we are having fixation disparity, somehow the, there is a single image formation. Although the image is not falling, although the uh, primary line of sight from the one eye is not meeting the fixation point. So that is the case. So fixation disparity helps us to uh, maintain binocular vision. But the stereopsis is little bit reduced. 